we're here at the safe house where we've just confirmed um, that the young boy is safe and sound um, upon seeing this horrific video that's gone viral of the mother really traumatizing um, and beating up her child to a, a pulp um, as a way to get back at the father unfortunately it's, it's been a, quite a traumatic video that was taken and it has been circulating everywhere luckily the father was able to report the case and that's how we've been able to locate exactly where the mother stays and her location our team immediately got onto the case and to make sure that we're able to take the child away from the premises so that we can be able to take him to a safe space where we currently are we can indicate to the public that the, the child is safe and sound on thursday will be the court case uh, that i will be attending together as the department to make sure that we submit to the court and we hear their verdict in terms of the mother you'll know that she was arrested and unfortunately she was re released on bail but we are continuing to assist and work together with the police to make sure that we submit all reports the department has ensured that the child was taken to a hospital where full examination was done in terms of verifying if the child had any broken bones has any bruises has been hurt in any way and also they do check whether ch the child has been given any form of substances so a full analysis was done of the child and we do have a report and these are part of the documentation that will be handed over to the police um, who will then be dealing accordingly with the issue of the court case together with our social workers so that is where we are and um, the case continues but we can indicate that as the department has now ensured that the child is safe we will now be dealing with the second phase which is about ensuring that we're able to take the child into a safe space so analysis and assessments rather are being done of both the father the grandmother also was met uh, so that we're able to make sure that when we release the child we are releasing him to a safe space and not subjecting him to further abuse so that is the work that is taking place but we would like to indicate to society right now that the child is safe and sound um, we've, we're ensuring that that horrific video that we saw this poor child must never ever uh, go through such an ordeal anymore and he is safe under the care of the state together working together with our NPOs and yeah this is where we are it's a difficult case but it's one of those that the state needs to act on it is our legislative mandate to make sure that kids are taken care of it's unfortunate that this takes place in the month of women in august uh, where exemplary examples should be made of what being a woman is uh, we should be celebrating great work and great strides that women have been able to do over the years um, and unfortunately here we are faced with such a horrific incident that has been um, subjected onto a child by a mother uh, it's, so it's not an easy thing to deal with but this case does allow us and especially this month to shine the light on such cases of abuse and to make sure that we send out a strong caution to everybody else um, and those mothers who who dare inflict such pain to their kids that we will not stand for such and the state is fully uh, on board to make sure that as the different departments both from a point of the police and also from the department of social development we act immediately and ensure that our kids are placed